In this tutorial, we will continue with the sketch based feature. We will see how we can do the grooves. So, in order to do the groove, as I've mentioned before, we need to have a sketch. Click on the sketch and create the profile which you would require as a groove. So, in this case, let's try something. Okay. Let's close this profile. Exit the sketch. Now let's hide the other sketch in order to avoid confusion. Go for the groove and select this as a profile and this as our axis, Z axis. Click on OK. As you can see here, the profile we created ran around our solid profile and created a groove. Next we will see how you can use the whole command. In order to use the whole command, you need to have a solid object. So, for instance, let's create a rectangle and create a pad on it. Let me increase the pad amount to say 100. In order to use the hole, click on the hole and click on the object. And then you can use the position sketch to position our hole wherever you want. Use the constraint command in order to give the constraint. And place the point of the hole, the center point of the hole, wherever you want. So in this case, maybe 100, 150. So that places our hole somewhere on this position. Exit the sketch. Now you can provide the hole diameter. You can give 50 and depth is around 40. However you need it, you can do that. We have options similar to the pocket and the pad option where you can give up to next for the hole. And you also have the option to specify the type of the hole. That's tapered, counterboard, countersunk, etc. Based on the type of hole we need, we can specify the depth of it and the angle. As you can see here, the depth is 5 and the angle is 90 degree. So you can increase that and that will be reflected in the model. If you increase the depth to say 15, the depth of that countersunk will be increased. The similar options are available for counterboard and tapered, etc. And you have the option to specify the threaded. And if you specify the threaded, you have the option to specify its metric thick pitch or thin pitch based on our requirement. You can specify M8 and etc. according to our industry standard. So that's about the hole. Now let's see the rib command, the slot, and other options in our next upcoming tutorial.